Hello guys, welcome back to AGL Nation for another worm tutorial. This one is more advanced, so let's get into it real quick. Got a lot to cover here. So let's start off by this. Uh, the way we're going to be doing it is we're going to do a batch file and make it into an exe file with um, uh, bat exe converter. Okay, so this is a my recently made one. Let's see how I made it. Let's open with this. Why not? Alright, here we go. So we got it. So let me explain the steps here. So first, we're going to have the mode, which will change the, the size of the window. <clears throat> Just for fun. Make it look cool. Add some uh, coolness to it. Color 02, which is green text and a black background. And this will clear the screen. So then we're going to start off by this. We went over in my last tutorial, the basic one. But this is just going to copy it no matter where it's opened in any of these directories. It will be copied to startup folder. So in this case, it's going to be a bat file, batch file. Uh, we can change it to exe, and that's what I'm going to do right now. So I'm just going to change all these to exes. And that's what Okay, so basically what will happen when the victim clicks on this file, it will copy the file to the startup first of all, and then it will copy it from desktop if it's opened on desktop to downloads, pictures, documents, videos, and music. So all those like common directories found in File Explorer. So I could add some more. Instead of desktop, I could make it music, but like no matter where it is, it'll be copied to all those folders. And that's something I'll do later, but you get the point. So this is another thing. Uh, this you really don't need to do. This is just for fun. Uh, this actually changes the background to... Uh, uh, they're coming in. <laughs> Anyways, so this will change the backdrop to a wallpaper. In this case, it's a picture of a dog, which is the logo for this uh, program I'm making called Crypto, Crypt, eh, Crypto Hound, uh, which is basically what I'm on right now. And so it'll shut down the computer. It'll uh, give you a message right here saying your computer is terminated by Crypto Hound. So shut down S time 500, which is 500 seconds, and then a uh, forward slash comment, and then a space, and you're going to add your comment in quotation marks. So that'll basically, yeah, that's that's also for fun. But if you really want to get down to the, the bad stuff, keep, keep watch here. Um, delete. This will delete uh, the current user's uh, desktop files of all these types, these extensions, ODT, TIFF, HTML, all, all of these. All these common file types will be deleted from desktop. Then it'll delete them all from documents as well. And it'll delete them all from downloads, pictures, videos, these are all the same, they're just, you know, different directories. And then music, and these, just delete everything in J, A, uh, J through D drive, depending on, like, what, like, if you have a USB connected, it'll delete everything in it, like, if you're, you know, gonna have, like, a, so I'm, I'm just not even gonna bother, like, typing all this out, because it's already here, you can, I'll leave all the coding in the description, and, or, you know, I could just put the file in the description, prank your friends with it. But, yeah, this isn't really much of a prank, though, because this will delete everything, basically, off your computer. This will de delete everything in the recycle bin. Recycle bin is located here. 
and this will just clear it. No admin privileges required, except for um, the next stuff. So up here, this may require, no, this will definitely require admin privileges. You really don't need to do this. You'll need a picture, by the way. You're going to need a picture to connect to this or else it's just going to be like a black background. So you'll need this picture to be like binded with your whatever. So all of this right here is the next part. IP config release. This will disable their internet. And keep, uh, stay tuned because I'm going to test this on a, a victim's computer in NanoCore in a little bit in the second half of the video. So all this I just copied from uh, Pastebin. Pastebin is a really nice place to get a lot of like tips and uh, also some good ideas. This I just copied. So all of this, these are different antiviruses like, uh, I don't know, Casper Sky, stuff like that. Like simple, you know, Norton, Avast, Cas yeah, Casper Sky too. This will delete the file locations, see program files, because that's where the all the files information is located. So that'll be deleted and their antivirus will not work, no matter what kind it is. This part is a little thing I made myself. This right here will just stop at the very, this will be the very end of the the file. And it'll say your computer and many others have been taken over by the Cryptohon virus. Leave your keyboard and mouse alone or you will suffer greater consequences. Let the cyber attack be a lesson for you. Sincerely, Cryptohound. So, as you can see, I'm just messing around, adding some more, like, goofy... Uh, there is an ant on my floor. Uh, adding some more goofy uh, messages and stuff to scare people. And then it just ends with a little loop and loop indicates this these lines of code if you don't know this already either way you can just copy and paste this if you're a beginner if you're an expert on this okay I'm not an expert on this I am not an expert on this but I'm kind of just basic there's a lot more possible you can do there's a lot more out there you can do with a batch file this is just the tip of the iceberg guys so then it'll go back to the loop and it'll basically put a bunch of pop-ups saying some scary messages and stuff threatening you know so all you really need to have this be a working worm virus is basically this top line here alright so I can explain this real quick copying it's basically copying this file to this location so if it's on the desktop and its name is cryptohound.exe, which it will be, we're naming it that after we go through bat.exe converter and run this through there, it'll be called cryptohound.exe. So we'll get to that in a bit. All right, so now let's save this. So I don't expect you guys to like be writing all this down. You can just go ahead and copy all this and paste it, you know, learn it on your own time. It takes way too long to type all this stuff out, so I'm just going to keep it how it is. I've been working on this. And if you guys would like a tutorial on how to make just a, you know, a, a malware kind of thing, like some some guy, and on the last video said, I should make a tutorial on how I made the bow virus, which I used against a Indian tech scammer in a few videos ago. He wanted me to make a tutorial on that, so shout out to you, man. That'll be done pretty soon. If this video gets out there, I'm asking for at least a thousand views on this, alright? thousand views, that video will come out, man. Promise. Anyways, desktop, we're gonna make it just batch. Oh, yeah. I already had it saved, but I just made some changes. All right, so you can exit out of that, and I get this stupid warning every time. So I'm just gonna. Yeah.
no fucking shoot. This guy's not the first thing you guys the code needs some work. Anyways. So that's that. Now we go to bat to exe converter. And this is where you can make it fun, customized. So we're gonna open it, or you could just probably drag it, but you know, go here, there it is, and it's all in here now. So if you want to add an icon to make it more, you know, intimidating, stuff like that, I have a little icon folder, and I think I even have a thing. There it is. So you don't need a password for this and it's only going to be it will be detected slightly and it'll probably send a warning before you run it so i could tell you guys how to like encrypt it better but you really don't need to it doesn't most computers don't really detect it that much so i just go with a uh, 64 bit uh visible that's good uh request administrative privileges you can do this but if you don't, some of these things won't work. So just to have it work, you're going to want uh, this to be on. So if you want to be able to remote execute it on p other people's computers without them having to like select the yes uh, button, you're just going to want to have it on nothing. But I'm just going to have it like that so everything will work. So leave all that at the same version information you can just you know make it cool so i'm just going to put 101 so i just leave that blank anyways we got it all done. We're going to convert it, put it on the desktop, and name it Crypto Hound. Duh, nothing, because it'll be an exe. Save it, and it'll pop up right there. And look at that. So, this is your complete thing, and it'll say this Computer Worm, AGL Nation, you know, stuff like that. And I'm, there's no way in hell I'm going to run this on my computer right now. It'll delete everything in sight. So that's a big no-no. So let's see if we can get a victim on Nanocore right now to run this. All right, we got a Pakistani in here. Let's go ahead and uh, activate the Crypto Hound virus. It's our first test. So let's go ahead and close out. Clear processes. Now we will drag our virus file, our worm, to his desktop. He's seeing something's up, as you can see. And he's back to YouTube. Okay, well, he he's not the brightest fella. Let's go edit. My computer is being slow now. Oh, that's the wrong thing. Alright. Let's go ahead and put this in there. Uploaded to his desktop, okay. So now, clear processes. Enlarge. Three. I double click, and we're ready. Alright, it is loading. Alright. It's really crashing the computer, something's going on. He might be turning it off. Yeah. That happens. But that should have been enough time to copy it to the um, startup, so every time it'll turn on, it'll do the same thing, and uh, that's the worm for you guys. So I don't think I'll be seeing that guy again, because, you know, it shuts down their internet too. But, 
We'll see if he pops back up. If not, that's the end of the video, guys. By now, he would have been back connected, so looks like he's been taken care of. Guys, thank you for watching. Please, oh, there they come again. Please like and subscribe. Comment uh, what should I post next, and uh, have a good one. <coughs> ah, shit, I got it. No, I'm gonna die. No, I'm joking. All right, guys, peace out.